Hello everybody. In this video I will talk about RME Babyface uh, Pro. It is a card that is presently connected to my computer, one of the cards that is presently connected to my computer, PC computer. And now I want to explain you how you can control that card from computer. I will close this window for now. I will, uh, when you uh, install driver from, for that card, you will be able to uh, get this software. It is RME Total Mix FX Baby Face Pro software, and through this software, you will be able to control your MIDI audio and MIDI interface because uh, this card is actually audio and MIDI interface. Now, let us see what do we have in this mixer and how we can control, what we, what we can find here. This microphone presently is not connected to that card. It is connected to another connection uh, because uh, I uh, want to have that sound that you are getting from uh, this recording on both speakers. But sometimes I am going to use another microphone what is connected in this card and on that microphone uh, I want to show you how it goes, uh, that control of that microphone. You will hear sound only on left side of the speaker because it is connected just to one mono channel and that mono channel is going to be recorded on just one side because uh, that software, OBS software that I'm using, it is actually a recording uh, connection from input one and two or input three and four. Uh, my one, uh, input one is this microphone, my input two is nothing, so that's why this is going to be on just on one side. So let us continue with that, this microphone from now, for now, and then I will switch to this microphone again. All right, I will put that microphone on side, and I will actually deactivate that microphone because I don't want to hear any additional sound. Now, uh, sound is going inside the system, but it's not coming out uh, from my speakers because I here on this part where is that uh, strip uh, channel for this uh, input uh, channel number one uh, this is actually here part where we can uh, decide do we want to send that sound that is coming through this gain do we want to send it to the speaker as well now I'm sending that so sound to the speaker as well for now, I will turn it back for a moment just to explain you mixer. Then uh, later, I will explain you how this part works. Okay, this section here, what we can see is hardware input section. Whatever is connected to your card, you can adjust here. You can adjust here and you can control here. Now, I will close a couple of windows, then I will explain you uh, when I open them what is functionality of this window. So this is, my microphone is connected to analog input number one. And I can see some here in uh, activity. It is actually my gain activity. I will press this tool sign and I will open this uh, extended video where I can see I can engage uh, my uh, phantom power. I can engage my pad if I need pad. I can engage stereo if I need stereo, I don't need it now. And there is gain for this microphone. Lower gain, upper, 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 and more gain, more, more, more gain. So now I have a, pre, uh, a, a lot of gain for this microphone, what you can hear. Now, beside of gain and that control, I can uh, give some effect to this microphone. So if I push effect up, up or here, up. Now, all that sound, uh, it actually, uh, this effect, I, I'm sending to my main output and my main output potentiometer is here so I have increased that increase and now I can hear my main output that is you can see activity here that is my master main output and there is per channel my uh, main output so I can do mixing and I can send uh, whatever I want to send to my main speakers and as well I can send it to my headphones if I turn it down uh, if I press here, analog, uh, one and two, then I can send everything to my headphones. And now you can see activity in my headphones here, what is going on in my headphones. And now, as I mentioned here, now activity in my main mix out. Now, look at 
my main mix out, as I mentioned, I put some reverb. But you cannot hear my reverb because I have to put it here as well on my output. And now, now there is my reverb as well involved. Because this card has built in effects, two effects, and we will find them here. You will extend this window, you will see a reverb, my echo. You will see presets for reverb, factory presets, or you can save your presets and you can recall your preset for reverb, or you can, there is some factory presets and there are some factory presets for your echo, and you can save them and you can recall them. So whatever you want to do, there is some few presets for echo and there you can save them, recall them. So those are effect presets. Sometimes if you want to record something in Pro Tools or Cubase, if you want to get some motivation or effect processing, then you can sing and listen to reverb echo, but you will not record it. This part of the mixer is for uh, software playback. I put down this reverb here, reverb here, and I will continue talking to this microphone. I can hear it a little bit monitoring. Um, I, I, won't, I, I feel better when I control that, uh, when I can hear that. Now, this is for input one. It's e equalizer for that. You can control low frequencies, mid, high frequencies. You have gain, you have frequency uh, uh, that you want to control. You can choose any of those frequencies. And then you can do Q for that frequency and you, you can add or you can just take away some of that frequency. You have, as I mentioned, three band EQ. I don't like to record with equalizer. So now on my instrument inputs three and four, those are actually two mono inputs. If I go here, extend that view and click to stereo, now I have three separate and four input, but they're panned to left and right side instrument inputs where I connected my keyboard. Now you can hear my keyboard. Let me put volume on that keyboard a little bit down. Now as you can see my keyboard, I can extend tools. So, but I can go back and on this input number three, I can press stereo and I can join those inputs. Now I have control for a stereo input L left and right. As you can see, I have EQ control. I don't like to use EQ. And I have uh, uh, gain control, width control, effect control, some controls here, plus four decibel, minus 10 decibels. So whatever I want to control here, I can control here for main output or for headphones. So actually those are two mixer. That is one mixing that you are doing setting for main output and there is another one that you are doing for your headphones. Now you are sending everything to your headphones or control room. You can have a reverb in headphones, but not on front speakers. Or you can have reverb if you want on front speakers as well. Here, that is that I'm sending, but as well on channel. Now you decide on which channel do you want to send a reverb and there is master output of effect and down. So I will stop this for a moment. Now, as you can see, it is not complicated. It is everything logical here. What you can do, you can save your uh, setting or mix here by store and mix. Now everything is saved here. Uh, and you can see, uh, save your presets or effects, as I mentioned, you can save uh, your control room, you have several mixes that you can save and you can save your layout of all those mixers that you can see here. You can just open them here, look at open, open my mixer. If I want to open even my EQ for here, then I can save it, everything store on mix eight. Or if I don't want to have EQ on mix eight, uh, then I can store that on mix seven. If I recall any of those 
uh, mixes it will show whatever I had there at the moment uh, of, of the saving so I mean uh, my my mix total mix uh, my mixing uh, my volume uh, my uh, whatever I did on those channels now that is about this RME mixer baby face very usable very powerful uh, whatever you are doing through Cubase or through Pro Tools, Pro Tools, you can adjust here. You can have control of your hardware, your uh, return playback from Pro Tools or your hardware outputs. You can control your uh, routing you without uh, latency through this mixer. You can have your FX because it has built FX in. It has excellent uh, converters and it works excellent the only things uh, i was everything recorded now through my this microphone and you uh, were able to hear a sound just through output uh, left output but now i will do second part of video and i'm going to do recording some through another microphone and i will explain you how this uh, rme babyface works together with some uh, recording uh, software screen recording software or obs recorder so let me close this and let me stop this recording and i will continue that in next video